Here we have a Metris 600. In this video I will show you the new features that we have implemented in IntelliJ. And uh, please note that these new features are only available on hardware revision A, as it is marked on, uh, on the new device. Uh, before I go into these new features, I would like to explain why we had to, uh, to think of all these new, new ways of, uh, of integrating with the DJI equipment. Uh, first reason was the fact that the F ports on the A3 controller are no longer active when combined with the Lightbridge 2. So all these ports here are, besides the F1 and F2 which are used to control the retracts and the fan, are completely useless. The second reason is the fact that the SBUS DBUS port on Lightbridge 2 is now being occupied by the CAN connection between Lightbridge 2 and A3, which means you can no longer take an SBUS signal out of your Lightbridge 2 as you could with the A2. So, what this means in general is that with this combo here, it doesn't matter if it is being used on the Matrix 600 or any other frame, when using Lightbridge 2 and A3, you cannot control any third-party equipment other than the DJI uh, equipment. The third issue concerns the Ronin MX. So, the first two issues were in general regarding the A3 and Lightbridge 2, no matter which other equipment you use with them, this third issue only refers to Ronin MX. Now, the Ronin MX may be connected to the uh, A3 controller using this uh, CAN connection here. And this is a very useful thing because it helps the Ronin MX uh, perform uh, much better when the frame, the multi-rotor is uh, accelerating. If you do not have this connection, you will have uh, all sorts of uh, drifts which will lead to bad, uh, bad quality of your footage. Now, the problem is that once you connect this here, the Ronin MX no longer listens from anything you connect to its uh, SBUS port. So, if you want to have a third-party RC system controlling the Ronin MX, and have this connection here, at the same time, it is simply not possible. You have to give up on uh, either one of them. The new features that we have implemented are split in three scenarios. All these three scenarios are fully described in the video description. This first part refers to the first scenario, scenario A, and uh, this is concerning the Matrix 600 and the Ronin MX uh, mostly, but you could use the same solution to in other setup as well, depending on uh, on your needs. Uh, as you can see, I have here a standard RC system that is controlling our Ronin MX here. Please note that the Ronin MX is connected to A3 via the CAN uh, port, so it is benefiting from the uh, no uh, drift uh, feature that comes with the CAN connection there. And at the same time it is being controlled by a third-party system, which is normally not, uh, not possible. We have here the master uh, Leibniz to remote, and uh, as you can see uh, the slave one is turned off, it's, so it's not being used at this point. I am also going to show to you that there is no slave remote connected to, to this master remote. But we have this one, uh, this one here, which does uh, the same job that uh, the second Leibniz 2 uh, remote controller was supposed to do. The advantages of uh, having another system controlling your, uh, uh, your Ronin MX are the following. First of all, most of you guys already have existing RC systems lying around and probably you spent a lot of money on them. Some of you I'm sure have really high quality RC systems that uh, I'm sorry to say so are much better than the Leibniz 2 remotes. So the, the things you can configure in such a remote allows you to have 
really good uh, control over your uh, your equipment. Unlike the Libris 2, which is not not so uh, mature in my opinion, at least uh, not until now. And uh, this means you save money by using your existing equipment, and you have better control over your equipment because you have higher quality equipment already. Another uh, important aspect is that once you have a standard RC system hooked up to your uh, frame, you can also control other things like your camera settings, like, uh, I don't know, lights, uh, parachute, you name it. So having a standard RC system in your uh, uh, platform is, in my opinion, something which offers you flexibility and uh, gives you freedom of choosing which equipment do you want to add to your, uh, your platform. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how you can control uh, your camera with IntelliJ. You can see our other uh, tutorials for that. Uh, this is just to show you that although the Eronian MX is connected to A3, uh, we can control the Ronin MX using a third-party system. Now, you might ask yourself, how is this communicating uh, to uh, the Ronin MX? Well, it is important to know that uh, Libris 2 uses 2.4 gigahertz to uh, communicate. This means that if you're using a different system, it has to be on a frequency, it, it is preferred that it's on a different frequency than 2.4 because the Libris 2 uh, occupies most of the, uh, the communication channels on 2.4. So, unlike with other system, let's say you have two Futaba channels bo both on 2.4, they could work well uh, with each other. If you want to use La a Futaba remote or such a FreeSky remote in parallel with Libris 2, this will probably cause uh, issues. This is why we have here a uh, different uh, RC module hooked up to, to our remote. This works, it's an easy UHF uh, and works over a different frequency. It's a, a 433 megahertz uh, frequency, sorry about this. And it is uh, not interfering with uh, the library. This is not the only solution, there are a lot of solutions and we are in fact recommending that you use uh, the TBS Crossfire which we will uh, be using ourselves from now on. Uh, we are going to show uh, more about that uh, in the video description and in future videos. Another question uh, that uh, you might have is how do we have video link here? Well, the video link uh, to this screen here is coming from the uh, master remote, uh, Libris 2 remote via HDMI cable. Now, if you do not like to be connected to each other with a cable, then you have the option of using a wireless solution such as the SRW60G, which is not intended to be used like this, but it could be used like this. So the SRW60G is what is sending signal from our red camera here up in the frame uh, to our uh, Libris 2. So you can use the same uh, equipment, uh, an, another pair of uh, these two, to communicate uh, video link uh, information between your two remotes. And uh, of course there is the option of using a Conex uh, Amimon. So uh, if you already have a Conex system, uh, that's, uh, that can be used uh, to not only send video directly from your uh, rig, from your uh, aerial platform uh, to your screen here, but also send commands from your uh, camera operator, and operator RC to uh, IntelliJ and to uh, your uh, Ronin MX. So, uh, to be honest, the best solution that money could buy would be the Conex Amimon, but if you do not have such a budget and you already have equip equipment, good equipment lying around, you can make use of it just uh, the same way as, uh, as we are doing uh, here. So this was uh, scenario A. We are going to uh, release new firmers uh, very soon, which will cover uh, the other scenarios and uh, we will publish uh, 
uh, video tutorials about those as well. Send us email, ask any questions you might have in case you do not uh, understand uh, completely what we have uh, shown you here. This is another example of how you can use IntelliJ to control DJI equipment. We have here a Xenius X5R and uh, you see the two Lightbridge 2 remotes here. This one is turned off, so it's not being used at this point. You can also see this on the screen of my master remote here, that there is no slave remote uh, connected to it. And uh, to see that this is in fact connected to this Xenius, you can see I'm controlling the uh, tilt here. And Instead of using the second Leibniz 2 remote, we are using a standard uh, RC system. This is a free sky system. And uh, as you can see, I have full control over uh, the gimbal. I can uh, pan, yaw and roll. I can also control the uh, recording and uh, shutter functions of the Zenmus. Uh, if you want to adjust uh, camera settings, you will have to use the uh, master app here. So this is the, the dance, downside of the setup. The upside uh, of the setup is that you can use your existing uh, equipment. So this is a HDMI screen that we already had, a remote that we already uh, had, and uh, all you need in order to get your image is to either use a HDMI cable between the master remote controller of Lightbridge and your uh, screen or use a wireless solution such as the DJI SRW60G and uh, this allows you to keep using your existing equipment uh, in the future and not have to get rid of them to get the Lightbridge which will then be change to something else and again you'll have to buy new equipment.